everyone, it's Vanessa and today I'm going to be doing a pretty casual video. I just wanted to sit down and talk about the things that I've kind of been obsessing over in the month of May. Today I actually thought I had crew for the play and I literally took a bus all the way to school just to find out that there was no crew today, but that's okay. You know how I turn the situation around? Got an iced latte. Gonna get started with things that I've been loving this month and May for me has gone by pretty quickly just because so much has been going on. I finished school May 25th. It's just been pretty nice and uh, relaxing. It's weird like waking up and not having to do anything for the day and just like relax and not have any worries. Stress free which I haven't been able to say in quite some time. Well, I don't have as many beauty favorites this month but I do have one thing that I just bought that I wanted to talk about. The Mario Badescu uh, facial spray. I heard so many people talking about this spray. I was like, why is it so hyped up? And like, what is so special about it? But it is truly, really great. I've never had a setting spray before, and this one is just really refreshing and hydrating. I just missed it all over my face before and after I do my makeup. Uh, not all the time before, but it's just a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. And then for some fashion items, this denim vest I picked up from Forever 21. It has like little rose detail on it. And can I just say how gorgeous this is? I wore this for my friend's birthday party a couple months back and love this thing. Like it is so adorable. It was like, I always would see it in Forever 21 and I never wanted to buy it because I just didn't want to like spend the money because I'm cheap. This is just, a, it's so cute. I'm sorry for being repetitive, but it's just so like vintage retro kind of and edgy too. And I just love denim lately. Put this over like a black mesh long sleeve top or a black lace up top. It's just, there's many options and you know, uh, different kind of outfits you could pair with this. So you could definitely dress it up or down. So yeah, I love this piece and I'm glad I bought it because I would definitely be getting a good use out of this, especially in the upcoming months and in fall too because I know there's some outfits I could pair with this for fall as well. Another fashion piece from Forever 21, not as cool or anything, it's just a uh, black lace bralette and this is like 10 bucks and I just really liked it when I saw it in the store and I just needed a new bralette because the one I had from Urban Outfitters, my grandma when she was washing it she like put bleach on it or something and it just doesn't look that great anymore. It's unfortunate but I really do like this top and it's so pretty, you can't really tell, but it's just a lace kind of detail. Very casual just to pair under things when you're not wanting to wear a bra. Next piece I have to show is these high-waisted bikini bottoms. I actually owned a pair of high-waisted bikini bottoms because I just never thought it would look good on me. Like high-waisted bikini bottoms, how would that work? But I always would see people rocking them and I was like, why not give it a go? Because you know, I'll be honest, two pieces. For me, just like regular bikinis, sometimes it's hard for me to feel confident in them because I am a little self-conscious about my body. Two pieces sometimes are a little uncomfortable for me to wear, but um, I do love them as well, so I'm not going to stop wearing them. But anyways, yes, these are just a regular pair of high-waisted bikini bottoms. I'm pretty sure they're brand new because I didn't see them last year, and they kind of have this like cross detail on the back of them, and then they're just high-waisted on the sides. Pretty casual and just black. I like them a lot. Got the chance to actually wear them to a pool or beach because I haven't gone to the pool or beach, but I do plan on going a lot this summer. Next up, we have some jewelry, and there's some jewelry that I've just been really digging lately. This jewelry is from Forever 21 because Forever 21 is like the only store in my local mall that really has clothes that I like. I mean, there's other stores here or there that I will find stuff in, but for the majority of the time, whenever I'm going to the mall, I'm going to get something from Forever 21. So I have these hoop earrings, which I've worn in a couple videos, and they're just regular, pretty casual gold hoops, and I figured, hey, why not just try them out? Because I never really wore hoops um, or bigger earrings. I always wear studs, but I feel like hoops can go really well with um, a specific kind of look. I think hoops, gold hoops look gorgeous with like a slick back ponytail or just like a Serena Vanderwoodson-esque ponytail. It's kind of like a side note. When I first started watching Gossip Girl back August, I was obsessed with Serena's ponytails and ever since then I've been trying to rock the ponytail and I've actually been really liking how I look with the ponytails. So try a new hairstyle out. You never know if you're going to like it. Anyways, yes, I just think these hoops are really cute and 
nice to spice something up. Okay, something also that I've just been loving are necklaces and just delicate necklaces. And I have this one on that I'm wearing right now from, of course, Forever 21. This has a little moon on it. Um, I think that's adorable. And then I also picked up, they were on sale, both of these, $2 each. And this one is just kind of like a circle with an opening. I don't really know. It's cute. And I haven't worn it yet. It's still in packaging, as you can see. And yeah, I just really like the look of these little small necklaces. I've been liking to wear necklaces and jewelry. Pretty much in general, I've always liked wearing jewelry a lot this month. That is all the beauty and fashion favorites. Now let's move on to some random stuff. I mentioned my Polaroid in my birthday video, and I talked about how I've always wanted a Polaroid. So I've been taking, um, not specifically in May, but I've just been taking a bunch of Polaroids lately. But I'll show you a couple of them. It's like how they turn out. I think they're really cute and vintage. This one is of me and my friend Annette. And then one is of me and my three friends from middle school that I'm still friends with today. So it's pretty awesome. also just have some in here. I have my niece and me, my niece, my sister, and my cousin. And then I have me and my friend Tori. I just keep them in my photo album, which I have like a bunch of other photos in there as well. I love collecting photos and looking back on them. It's just a fun way to reminisce. All right, so this next uh, thing is a book and I actually didn't read this in the month of May, but I wanted to talk about it because I never got the chance to. And I actually read this probably in, in March, so it's been a while, but it is the Maddie Diaries, the book, the memoir from Maddie Ziegler. If you've like been watching my videos for a bit, you know that it's no joke that I'm obsessed with Maddie and Mackenzie. I'm just, I'm huge fans of them, and I just look up to them and how much they've accomplished at such a young age. Yeah, I look up to their dedication, hard work, and all that kind of stuff, and I read this book, and it's very, in like, reading this book, it was very inspiring. Like, she's only 14 years old and she's accomplished so much and she worked so hard and everyone like would talk about how everything was handed to her and I don't think that's the case at all. I do think a lot of hard work and dedication does pay off in the end and life is all about choices as my aunt always tells me and it's your it's up to you to make the good ones and where you want your life to lead and the path you want to take is really all up to you so it just it's balls in your court and obviously there's always factors in everyone's life but the way you could handle and balance those factors I think is what really makes you the kind of person that you are and um yeah I really liked it and I think the cover is really cool too and Mackenzie is also coming out with a book which I'm gonna look forward to read because she's coming out with it I think summer of 2018 also I want to talk about my phone case I've just been loving it too it is from I think amazon.com it was like five six dollars and it's just like a marble kind of granite cover with like different types of colors I'm really liking it I have a song favorite this song I've talked about before, but I just, I really like it. I've been loving the app Spotify lately, so I've just been listening to like all my music on there. Different playlists for like different moods that I'm in. So when I'm like feeling more casual, I'll play the Majestic Casual play playlist. The first song that I've been obsessed with, and I mean like obsessed with this month, is Monsters by Mackenzie Ziegler. I know I've, I've talked about this a lot, but I just love this song and it's just so good. Please go check it out. I'll leave the link for her video in the description bar. Such a hit. It's just like this, you could actually like really hear her voice and hear the improvement and just hear how good it is and just her voice has really just progressed and improved and it's just nice. It's a nice beat and I love it. And the video is actually really cool too. so catchy and it's always in my head and I'm constantly like singing it in my head it's actually kind of bad so <laughs> it's a really good song if you just want like a upbeat like happy song and I think it does have a good message just not letting her haters keep her down next song I've been loving is the song entitled chasing stars and I actually heard the song on um, dance moms when they did the pretty reckless uh, group dance and I just like the song was stuck in my head I kept singing it and singing it so I just looked it up and I really love the song oh my god it's so soothing and I love it I love it I don't need the city tonight I just want to drive and drive 
Dancing in the dark is fine Let's go chasing stars this evening Eyes wide shut in the sky's dreaming Oh, we're tripping at the speed of a light You thought this could be paradise It's so relaxing and it has such a different kind of beat The last song, which is honestly kind of random And it isn't a new song at all This is a song that came out in the 80s But I've just been liking it a lot is toy soldiers by martika and it is definitely a different kind of it's an 80s song i mean i'm not gonna play the whole song but I don't know, I've just been loving the kind of like soothing, different kind of music this month. That was all my main favorites. I will leave um, the links for all the songs that I mentioned down below if you want to listen to them. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave it down below any summer video requests you may have in the comment section. And subscribe and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.